a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Castle Rock, TV series. Castle Rock is an American psychological horror, science fiction anthology web television series based on characters and settings from the stories of Stephen King that premiered on July 25, 2018 on Hulu. The series, created by Sam Shaw and Dustin Thomason and starring Andre Holland, Melanie Linsky, Bill Skarsgård, Jane Levy, and Sissy Spacek, intertwines characters and themes from the fictional town of Castle Rock, Maine. On August 14, 2018, it was announced that the series had been renewed for a second season. Development On February 17, 2017, it was announced that Hulu, J. J. Abrams, and Stephen King were collaborating on a new series entitled Castle Rock based on King's large canon of work. It was further reported that the series would be written by Sam Shaw and Dustin Thomason and produced by Abrams Bad Robot Productions and distributed by Warner Brothers Television. Four days later, Hulu further revealed that they had given the production a series order consisting of a first season of ten episodes, and executive producers would include Abrams, King, Shaw, Thomason, Ben Stevenson, and Liz Glotzer. On July 12, 2017, it was announced that Michael Uppendale was joining the production as a co-executive producer and would direct the pilot episode. On August 4, 2018, it was announced that Hulu had renewed the series for a second season. Casting On May 11, 2017, it was announced that Andre Holland had been cast in the series' lead role. In June 2017, it was announced that Jane Levy, Sissy Spacek, and Melanie Linsky had joined the main cast. On July 10, 2017, Bill Skarsgård was added to the series' main cast. In August 2017, it was reported that Scott Glenn and Terry O'Quinn had been added as series regulars. On March 1, 2018, it was announced that Chosen Jacobs had joined the series in the recurring role of Wendell Diva, the son of Holland's character. On June 8, 2018, it was announced during the annual ATX television festival that Alison Tolman had joined the cast in the recurring role of Linsky's character's sister. Five days later, it was reported that Noel Fisher had also been cast in a recurring role. Filming Principal photography for the first season was expected to take place in Massachusetts in locations such as Orange, Massachusetts and at New England Studios in Devens, Massachusetts. In August, production began in Devens and in Orange, where the downtown area of the town had been refitted to appear as the town of Castle Rock, and where production was expected to continue through January 2018. That month, Cruz also shot scenes at Vernon Hill School in Worcester, Massachusetts and at an old Victorian house in Lancaster, Massachusetts. Filming returned to Orange during the week of August 21st for production of the series' second episode. In late September 2017, filming took place in Tewkesbury, Massachusetts at the Public Health Museum on the campus of the Tewkesbury State Hospital. In October 2017, filming took place at the Central Cemetery in Orange where a funeral scene was shot. The downtown area was refitted with a more modern look in November for another phase of production. From September 4, 2017 until the end of the month, production took place at the former West Virginia Penitentiary in Moundsville. West Virginia which appeared as the fictional Shawshank State Prison. On November 21, 2017, filming took place in Worcester in the lobby of the Mercantile Building which had been refitted into a boardroom. On December 18, 2017, production for the season finale began. And by January all filming in Orange was completed and the production proceeded to donate $3,500 to the town. The fire department has received $2,500 for helping facilitate production. And the trustees of Soldiers Memorial will receive another $1,000. Music The song, 24 Hours from Tulsa, is used three times during the series including the first song heard in the series premiere, and the last song heard over the closing credits of the season 1 finale capturing the underlying situation of the kid and the lyrics, Dearest Darling, I had to write to say that I won't be home anymore, cause something happened to me while I was driving home, and I'm not the same anymore. Marketing Simultaneously with the series announcement, Hulu released the first teaser trailer for the series. 
The teaser trailer mentions titles of and characters from a number of Stephen King novels, short stories, and collections including, It, Dolores Claiborne, Needful Things, Salem's Lot, Dreamcatcher, Night Shift, The Green Mile, Misery, Hearts in Atlantis, The Shining, The Mangala, Four Past Midnight, Different Seasons, Nightmares and Dreamscapers, The Dark Half, and The Night Flyer. On October 8, 2017, a second teaser trailer was unveiled at the annual New York Comic Con and subsequently released online. On February 1, 2018, released a 30-second television commercial for the series online that eventually aired three days later during Super Bowl 52. Hulu reportedly paid $5 million to air the advertisement during the football game. On May 2, 2018, a third teaser trailer was released alongside the announcement of the show's premiere date of July 25, 2018. On July 10, 2018, the first full trailer for the series was released. Premiere On June 8, 2018, the series took part in the annual ATX Television Festival in Austin, Texas where a first look at footage from the series took place, following the premiere of the footage. A question-and-answer panel occurred with creators and executive producers Sam Shaw and Dustin Thomason. On June 19, 2018, it was announced that the series would hold its world premiere during the show's panel at San Diego Comic Con in San Diego, California where cast members including Sissy Spacek, Bill Skarsgård, and Melanie Linsky are set to be in attendance. On September 7, 2018, the series took part in the 12th annual Paley Fest Fall Television Previews which will feature a screening of the first season finale, and a discussion with creator and executive producer Sam Shaw. Critical Response The series has been met with a generally positive response from critics. On the review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes, the series holds an 86% approval rating with an average rating of 7.54 out of 10 based on 68 reviews. The website's critical consensus reads, A meticulously crafted mystery brimming with illusions, Castle Rock is bound to please even the pickiest of Stephen King fans, though mileage may vary for casual viewers. Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, assigned the series a score of 66 out of 100 based on 35 critics, indicating, generally favorable reviews. In a positive review, Collider's Dave Trumbull praised the series saying, Shaw, Thomason, Abrams and company, really nail the core concepts of King's storytelling here. Each character gets a good amount of screen time to focus on introspection. Castle Rock is a can't-miss series for Stephen King fans, and a must-watch horror show for fans of dark, thrilling, character-focused mysteries. In a similarly favorable critique, Entertainment Weekly's Kristen Baldwin gave the series a grade of A, and commended it saying, Though most characters are new, for King fans the world of Castle Rock will be inescapably familiar. Spending time here feels, in many ways, like coming home, with all of the excitement and dread such a visit entails. In another approving criticism, Ben Travers of IndieWire gave the series a grade of B, and complimented its saying, for a show that could have been dominated by its origins, Castle Rock Shaw has a good time breathing new life into them. Smart, fun scares, deeply felt, well-founded characters, layers of story to decipher. Along with the references, what more could you want in a new piece of the Stephen King library? In a more mixed review, Dan Feenberg of The Hollywood Reporter criticized the series saying, the actors will offer the best incentive for the King ambivalent to tune into Castle Rock, but I'm not sure even they will ultimately be enough to overcome the sluggish and vague story. In a negative review, Daniel Daddario of Variety was even more disapproving saying, It's Siri by the numbers, repeatedly telling us quite how scared we ought to be, without yet building characters for whom we feel sympathetic fear. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to